This is the new DJI Mini 4 Pro and on this video we're gonna do a quick unboxing on the Flatmore combo with the new RC2 controller. As the fly more combo, it always comes with this nice bag that you can carry. Um, so it always feel good, good material. And here is gonna be your drone and everything that comes with. So on this one, this bag, seems like you've got all your cables, USB, um, USB-C, USB-C for the new iPhones. Uh, regular USB with USB-C for charging and assuming um, a lot of extra propellers hopefully we don't need them because hopefully we won't crash like with the Divinity 2 and the screwdriver to replace the propellers and the menu that I'm pretty sure nobody will read it but we're just gonna put everything back for now and then here we got the charging dock for the batteries and one of the things that I like about these ones is that you can put um, you can ch charge like your phone when you're traveling and you can even charge your controller if you need to <coughs> out of the, this battery well if you have battery on these on these ones um, but yeah that's one of the things I like about it that you can use it as external battery charger so that's pretty good uh, it comes with three this one I got the little ones because I want to keep it on the 250 they also sell the two the bigger ones but that doesn't count it as 249 grams anymore so uh, that's why I got the little ones and then here is the drone itself It's crazy that on the pictures it looks a lot bigger than what it actually is. And it's crazy how for this long they added all these extra things, extra features, and it still weighs on the 249. So that's pretty cool. Um, I like how they did the cover. Now it covers the front lenses too. That way, when you save it, you, you don't have to worry about scratching or anything like that. Uh, this, based on the angle, I don't think you have to worry about scratching it. Uh, whether you put it like this, upside down, you should be worried about that. But yeah, it comes really nice pack. Uh, let's open this up. This uh, guard for the propellers, it feels better than the other ones. This feels a lot better than, uh, it feels stronger material than the Mini 2, that's for sure. Um, it does feel lightweight but the material does feel plasticky but obviously you have to do it that way to keep it under that amount of weight so here's the camera um, you know it can go vertical and it can go uh, horizontal that's one of the things I love about uh, the new, the new uh, minis I wish they had they do that on the Mavic 3 because that would be better but apparently I don't know why they don't do it <clears throat> so now you have this LED light which the Mavic has it too and obviously you got the proximity sensors and the cameras um, so it does have a lot all the features of the Mavic 3 at this point the only thing that the Mavic 3 does better um, talking about the Mavic 3 the first one that came out now the classic Audi Pro um, because I had the Mavic 3 it does pretty much everything except the Mavic 3 has, it can record 5k and besides that it this does better than the Mavic 3 because it, the tracking feature is better the 
the remote it can bring longer distance so that's even better so at this point i had to do a comparison and see if i can if i keep the mavic 3 or i'm gonna end up selling it and just keeping this on my back for now on so here's the drone we get three batteries and now the moment that i was waiting for is the remote because i don't i do not have a remote for it like um, a pro remote so this is my first time owning one i had used them before but i never own it one i wish they would do an um an update so i can hook it up to the mavic 3 that way i don't have to buy another one so here's the remote and the displays as you can see has it does have a big display and this remote had longer distance so you can you can go more out without worrying about losing signal and the thing about this is that the, if you ever use an iphone when you're outside on the heat it dims the light really bad and you cannot see anything and with this one i use it before on the heat and doesn't dim it stays at, at 1000 nit brightness and you can see pretty much everything so that's the one thing i like about this one that's what this time i went with the with the version that has the remote so i'm gonna turn it on right now so you can see well, what it how big is the display compared to the iphone pro max so you can see here um the display size is the phone is wider but uh, vertical is pretty much a little bit longer but like I said the biggest thing that I had with the, using the phone it was the um, the brightness of it it dims down too much and then you cannot see anything when you're shooting outside as right now I had to set it up but I'll do that later but I just want you to turn it on so you can see the difference between the display size um display size is pretty much the same i was give and take but like i said the, the display quality looks good um and the biggest benefit of having this if you don't have to worry about hooking the phone up your phone might die um draining the battery of your phone uh you only have to worry about this and the main main thing is the brightness this is um supposedly quote unquote the same brightness but this stays brighter a lot longer than your phone another feature of the remotes too uh, you can put a um, sd card here and you can easily uh, record it internal so what you're doing is you're recording what you see in the remote so you can pretty much do the same thing with the phone uh, when you do um, display recording but you can do it here too and if i'm not mistaken the usb-c you can do external viewing uh, I'm not sure about that one, I remember seeing something about it. Um, and here you can have two threads so you can hook it up like to a lanyard and you can hook it to your neck. And this is pretty much the same as the other remote, it has the same features. It's your um, sticks, so you can put in there. So that's pretty nice too. You put it there, save it here. I hope you enjoyed this quick unboxing and stay tuned to make sure to see the comparison with the Mavic 3 to the Mini 4 Pro because on paper they look pretty much the same and this one it even has better features than the Mavic 4 and uh, Mavic 3 so I'm, try, I'm gonna see and compare it to see if it is even worth it keeping it at this point and he's selling it and he's keeping this one and just keep this on my main drone because as for now based on paper the only feature that the Mavic 3 has is that it's bigger so you can the battery, the battery lasts a little bit longer but that's not really a big problem because if I wanted to last longer I can get the bigger battery uh, and the way issue is that the stronger winds I've seen this struggles a little bit with these stronger winds so that's another thing uh, and besides the video quality um, that's the only features that I see that I can see that being that I would miss from the Mavic 3 but it's not even a big deal so I have to see how it actually compares with the 4k to 4k and especially now that you can record in log so I don't see why 
the reason to either get the Mavic 3 in at this point but we're gonna go into more details on my next video so make sure to subscribe and thank you for watching